something new. Or is it? Hey there, it's The Shooting Guy. Thanks so much for joining me today. I do appreciate it a lot. If you're a subscriber, big thumbs up to you guys. You guys are awesome. If you're just swinging by today and you're not a subscriber, but you thought, hey, I'm gonna check this thing out. It said something that I thought would be interesting. You're right, it's gonna be interesting. You're gonna enjoy yourself. Consider subscribing. If you're a Patreon patron, Thank you. Double thumbs up to you guys. You guys directly support what we do here, and for that, I'm very, very grateful. If you're not a Patreon patron, uh, consider doing that. There's a link down below. You can contribute directly to what we're doing here by helping us out. Do appreciate it a lot. Guys, there is nothing new under the sun. You all need to read Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 9 specifically, but read the whole book of Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes? What the heck is that, shooting guy? Okay, it's a book in the, in the Old Testament uh, written by King David's son. His name was Solomon, and he prayed for wisdom, and God gave him wisdom, and he was able to write the book of Ecclesiastes. He wrote uh, Proverbs. He wrote the Song of Solomon. That guy had it going on because of a gift that God gave him, and it was the gift of wisdom. But if you read Ecclesiastes, uh, Solomon says, there is nothing new under the sun. History merely repeats itself. And it's true. There isn't anything new there's just some changes to things that have already been around. And, uh, you know, there's a, I'm, I'm going to get a little, I'm going to wax a little poetic here, if you don't mind, for just a minute. But I think that there's this, this idea going on around the world right now that there are these new innovations, these new things. And guys, I'm telling you, there is nothing new under the sun. Um, there's a movie that's coming out. It's called First Man. And I think I want to see that movie. It's, uh, it's about Neil Armstrong. And uh, I think as he's as close to being the first at anything that, um, that I could think of, at least in modern day, because he put his foot, he was the first guy to put his foot on the moon. Nobody had ever done that before. Now, in reality, uh, is that new? exploring uncharted uh, territory and, and putting your foot someplace where no one has put their foot before. I want you to think about this for a minute. Columbus, uh, he sailed across the ocean blue in the year 1492, and uh, when he got to the New World, uh, he set foot on uh, some new soil for the very first time, right? Uh, no. <laughs> there were already some people already here, so um, even even that explorer wasn't the first to, to come to the New World, or this place, or the Western world that we now call it. Uh, somebody else already beat him to it, and uh, um, so there's very few things that are actually firsts. Very few things. But we can kind of come close and say... Um, this is something a little different. So maybe that's a better approach. Rather than saying, hey, we're the first and we're new and no one's ever done this before. Uh, that's kind of a saying these days. No one's ever done this before. Well, that's not true. It just is not true. Don't fall for that lie. It's been done. It's just being redone in a different adaptation of the way it was done in the past. And maybe it's a little more culturally relevant. Maybe it's a little more specific to a need. Um, but uh, it's not new. It's just uh, a different way of approaching things, kind of like Mantis. Now, Mantis, um, I've got a link down below. You can take a look at the original uh, um, uh, review that we did on this Mantis piece. It's a, it's a, sh it's a, it's a way to help improve your ability to shoot handguns, rifles, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Like I say, I'll put a link down below. You can take a look at that. I've got this one charging up because I was just using it a little while ago and. Uh, the battery was getting a little low, so I've got it plugged in to get charged. But it's this cool little self-contained uh, little nugget that uh, fits on the bottom down here. And uh, you can put it on this way, you can put it on this way. It doesn't really matter. You tell the software how it's going in there, and uh, you, you tighten it down with the screw here. But a very, very useful tool. And the guys at Mantis, where it isn't something new under the sun, because everyone knows that we need to uh, practice um, our shooting skills if we're going to get better. And so that's that part's not new. But what is new is they have an application, they have software that they can update and put in different features that help the shooting community an awful lot. Now, they've had uh, live fire, right? That's pretty cool. So it'll, it'll detect live fire. You can put bullets in there. Dry fire practice. Very, very cool. Or if you have a CO2 gun that has recoil in it, 
um, it'll pick up that recoil and it'll sense that too. So very, very versatile. I tell you, um, these things are not that expensive. They're just over the $100 mark. Uh, I'm going to put a link down below where you can pick yourself up one. And uh, uh, my link will give you a little bit of a discount. And uh, so click on it down below and you'll see. I'll take you through the steps. You click on it, you get a little coupon, you go and you buy the thing, you put the coupon code in and you save some money. So do that. And um, I also benefit from that too. So that is another way. If you're not a Patreon patron, you are directly supporting me when you use the links that are in our descriptions. So every time you use Amazon or anything like that through the links that we have down below, you are contributing to the Shooting Eye Compound. And for that, I'm very grateful. Same thing goes with Mantis. They've been kind enough to um, include me in that. And uh, we've sold a few of these. And, and all the feedback that we've gotten from people that have bought them say they love it and they use it a lot. Now, where, where I was going with all that was the dry fire feature. I use the dry fire feature all the time. And the reason is um, for about, a, let's just say this thing cost about $100 or so. Let's just say it cost $100. How many rounds of 9mm, this is a 9mm here, but let's say you're shooting 40 or let's say you're shooting 357 or you're shooting something else. How quickly will you go through $100 worth of ammo? Pretty quick. You know, with the price of ammo, unless you're reloading, and then if you're reloading, it's still time, and time is money. Um, so if you're spending time reloading and getting custom loads and all that, that's totally cool, but it still costs time, and time is money. So yeah, picking up one of these and not having to use ammo and going into the dry fire mode, um, you really are going to save yourself some bucks instead of always going out and doing live practice. But the beauty is you can always put this thing on live practice and really hone things in when you're out on the firing range. Very cool little thing. I wouldn't tell you that if I didn't think it was. And I wouldn't tell you that I think it's cool if I didn't think so. They're not paying me to say it um, at all. They're, they wanted me to give an honest evaluation when we first got started, and I did. And uh, some of the things we talked about actually got implemented in their software. So that was very cool. So they're always looking for some good feedback. Um, and let me say something, let me make something really, really clear about this channel. Even though we may get a few things in from time to time, it's something that I would use. I'm not going to put in front of this camera something that I'm not going to use. And if I inadvertently put something, let me give you an example. We're still trying to figure this thing out. The U-loader, um, this thing came to us. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to put it upside down. This thing came to us. And I, I thought this would be really cool to look at. But in reality, there was a problem with 300 blackout and we're still trying to figure out why we couldn't use 300 blackout in that. But I give an honest evaluation and uh, I don't put stuff on the table that I wouldn't want to use myself. Just so you know why things show up here on this table, okay? I'm gonna make that perfectly clear. Anyway, uh, the Mantis and the Mantis X software, uh, very cool idea, very cool thing cool adaptation of not a new idea because uh, there's nothing new under the sun, um, but it is a great adaptation for using things in dry fire mode, CO2, all of that kind of stuff. And they also um, allow you to sign in and you can do, you can compete against friends. I'll play you for it. <laughs> all right, you're on. You know, how good are you actually shooting? You need a group dynamic. And, uh, that's all I had for you today. I just wanted to share with you an update to this uh, to the Mantis X and uh, how we use it and how much fun we're having with it. All right. If you got any questions, comments down below. Uh, let me know if you've used the Mantis. Put a comment down below. We'd love to start some interaction with that. If uh, you're interested in this, I'll have a link down below that you can you certainly go off and purchase one. Before you purchase it, if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask me, folks. I will tell you what I know, and if I don't know, I'll turn you on to the guys, and we talk to them once in a while. We certainly talk to them on email a lot. So uh, I'll find the answers for you if you have some questions. I want you to be very comfortable with picking up something like this if uh, you're interested. Alrighty, All right. That's all I got. Love you guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. God bless you. God bless America. May America bless God. Go read Ecclesiastes. The other day, my chicken caught a snake. Huh, pretty funny.